Hello and welcome to the Sunday Afternoon Modular. In this video we will take a look at the sign from 2HP. The sign, as the name already suggests, is a voltage controlled oscillator that outputs a sine wave. But that's not all of course. There are a few nice additions, just as the internal wave folder and the sub output. But before we go to the module overview, what is a sine wave, you might ask? The sine wave is a very nice and round sounding waveform. As you see, it is very smooth with no edges. Typical waveforms for synthesizers are the sine wave, the triangle wave, the square wave, sometimes also referred to as pulse, and the sawtooth wave. A reverse sawtooth wave is often called ramp. So this oscillator here only outputs a sine wave, but that shouldn't mean that it's a boring module. Let's have a look at the sine from top to bottom. First we have a CV input and a knob to control the wave folder. It controls the amount of wave folding for both the primary and the sub output. The wave folder is an absolute cool feature of this VCO as it lets us shape the sine wave from a nice to a not so nice tone. You will see and hear that later in the video. Next is a blend CV input and a knob. It controls the blending of the subwave form. Turned fully left, it is one octave below the primary waveform. Turned fully right, it's a fifth above the primary waveform. Then we have a frequency knob. This lets us control the pitch or frequency of the primary and the subwave form. It can go from as low as 35 Hz up to 4.45 kHz. Below the frequency knob is the volt per octave CV input. It receives the pitch signal from your sequencer. Next is the subwave form output. Last but not least, the output for the primary waveform. For people new to modular synths, this VCO outputs a constant signal, so you will need an envelope module and a VCA to control not only the length of the tone. A good module for starters is the Erika Synth PicoMod, as it combines an envelope generator and a VCA in a nice small module. I've made a video about this module and also videos about what you need to get started with modular synths. I will link it at the end of this video. Alright, enough talking. Let's check out the module in action and hear how it sounds. And I will tell you afterwards why I like sine waves. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing.
That was it for the 2HP sine, a pretty cool little oscillator for sine waves. I especially like sine waves for bass tones. Their tone is not intrusive, like a square or a sawtooth wave, so I can add a nice little bass fundament to any track where the bass does not have the main role. If it sounds too nice to you, you can put it through wave shapers and distortion modules to get some extra grit. If you enjoy my videos, I would be happy if you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and see you next time on the 